Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Jay here. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. It is Horde Night, and uh, there's a lot to update you on actually since the last time we met. As you know, when we left, we had just completed our Shotgun Messiah factory job, and my plan was I was going to drop some things off at Jen, and then we were going to go off and see Trader Bob. Now, when we got to see Trader Bob, we had a quick look at his secret stash, and he had the recipe to craft our own augers. So now, we've gone from having a level 1 auger, then finding the level 2 one, and now we have ourselves a level 5 auger. Now, obviously that is a big deal. We've managed to get three augers basically in the same day, because I did that soon as we'd finished recording. So very, very happy with that. As you can see, I have got as much ammunition on me as I can possibly carry, and I have equipped the majority of my weapons with a rad remover so we have the level 6 ak which has got some decent mods on it we've got the level 5 tactical assault rifle in a similar position we've done the same with the shotgun and we added the extender mod which we crafted the pistol has only got our regular stuff on but again that's kind of like we'll take that for close quarters and then the magnum we haven't got any mods on this but that again is going to be hopefully strong enough also, what I have done, because I have been trying my best to kind of keep on top of everything, is with that level 5 auger, we went out and we grabbed a load of coal and a load of nitrate. And this is currently crafting an absolute ungodly amount of gunpowder, so that the next few horde nights we should be pretty much covered. Over here, we've got some mineral water on the go, because I realized that we could actually craft that, which is awesome. And we also already made a bunch of meat stews. Got 10 in there, and I've got 7 on me. You may also notice I'm carrying some robotic turret ammo. So why don't we head over to the horde base, and I'll show you just how much better this looks all lit up. As you can tell, in that brief time we had between when we left and now, I've been busy grinding away, and it's so much easier with an auger. You won't believe how much easier it is. The amount of materials I've managed to get is ridiculous and it just makes life 10 times easier. It gives me all the confidence I need now going into the maze that we're planning on doing. In terms of grinding, it should be a lot easier. So we made ourselves some uh, lanterns. We've got four, one in each corner on the blocks that have the one column. And also I've brought that junk turret with us in the hopes that it will help us out while we're sat here. It's currently just stood behind me. And I've brought some ammo with us as well. But yeah, as you can see, we have got a ridiculous amount of ammo. Just to give you a run through, we have 709 for the Magnum. Around about 860-ish for the pistol. Nearly 1,000 for the shotgun. And about 1,200 between these two guns. We should be, in theory, absolutely fine when it comes to ammo. Just in case... Oh, boy. Ooh, I didn't spot this. Right, I need to make some adjustments. I didn't realize there was a hole there. Let me just check there's no more. All right, okay, that's an easy fix. We'll get some bars and put that up. I'll do that now before I forget. But yeah, in terms of ammunition, we're obviously well covered. And the only problem we're going to have now is the ones that get past us on the blade traps. They're the ones that could cause potential issues. But hopefully we will be fine. Right, how do I make wood bars? I believe I can do them in my inventory. Let's have a quick look. Wood bars, brilliant. How many can I do? 36, that sounds about right. Okay, let me fix that hole. Glad we came in now, because to be fair, any birds getting in there could have been a problem. Zombies could have just piled up and climbed over and avoided the, sp the uh, blade traps altogether. That could have been disastrous. As you know, we've got the generator bank in there. It's currently running with three engines, more than enough for what we need, and it's about half capacity for the gas. It did more than enough with what we had previously so i'm hoping that it's going to be fine for this time around as well but it's getting closer to hard night so i'm going to make sure that everything is ready to go make sure i plug that hole and then uh yeah i'll bring you back when the hard comes hopefully tonight isn't going to be the night where we get our first death it's almost that time again so just did a quick check. We've got around about 3,700 rounds of ammunition on us between these five guns. That's not including the junk turret ammo. Not sure how much difference this thing's going to make, but it'd be nice to have a little bit of backup, I suppose. Um, they're going to be coming anytime soon, so I should probably turn on the blade traps and make sure that they all absolutely work. I mean, obviously, we've checked this a few times, so we know they do. But you can never tell sometimes in this game, you've got to make sure you've got the best... Uh, 
double and triple check things but we've got a couple of new guns tonight in fact we've got three compared to the last whole night we only had the pistol and the ak last time obviously we've got five guns now but oh boy i'm a little nervous for this one where are you coming from okay i hear them oh this way all right cool oh crap you're coming from multiple directions that's not good and we've got one in two in it's when they start coming from multiple directions that it's a problem, see? And these guys are going to be an issue. Okay, right. Um, see, they're already piling in. Oh, boy. He got right in. Right, reload. Come on, do your work. This isn't so bad so far. But we've been here before. We know how hairy these things can get, especially when they start piling up at the blades. See, he's through. She's through. Jump Terror could probably do with being moved. But I just haven't got the second to do it. He's still up. Oh, they're coming that way now. These things get intense quick. And like I say, this particular horde, our oh, junk turret's doing his job, that's cool. This particular horde is going to involve me moving around a lot more. And so far, we've only had them, actually, we've had them coming from three directions. Junk turret's doing well over there, keeping them at bay. These soldiers are always going to be an issue because they're a lot tougher than some of the other guys that get through. Still no radiated on the Horde night, but obviously we met some at the Shotgun Messiah, so we do know they are around. Someone else is getting chopped up over here. It's always amazing to me how my stupid bases tend to hold up. <laughs> I don't understand it somehow. Oh, boy. There's our first hit of the night. I'm enjoying this new gun. This is a really good gun. Okay, you down. Take care of the crawlers before they get too close. And the benefit of having good headphones is more often than not, you can tell which direction they're coming from. And the blade traps are a good indicator of that. That's one thing I like. It kind of points out what direction I need to be wary of if I've got my back to them. Oh boy. Need to be more aware when they're getting through, though. Can't be having that getting too close. Another one down. Another big guy. Oh, boy. It's the benefit of having a bunch of guns, though. Sometimes it's quicker to switch guns than reload. And that time I got way too close to where the blade trap was. I feel weak, apparently. I'm infected. Okay, well, I've got some antibiotics. That's fine. I'm going to need to reload though. Crap. Crap. Get off me. Run him. Right. This is why we run them around. Try not to get cornered, but I've got myself cornered. But let's not panic. Let's use the magnum. Okay. Maybe now I should heal. Alright, now we're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Run, 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 run. Okay, we're getting a little bit cocky. So I think we need to kind of calm it down a little bit. And let the blade traps do some work. We need to reload these guns. Oh boy, you're destroying my floor. <laughs> Seems to have calmed down a little though, which is good, which is good. There we go, they're coming this way now. Got a few of them breaking through as we expected. This horde was always going to be more difficult than the last one. Fully expected that. Oh boy. Right, we have a bit of a problem here because we're getting a few coming through. And I've used a few of my health kits already. 
So let's uh, clear this. Clear the area. Run, 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 run. Switch guns. Reload faster, please. Oh, boy. And here, oh, crap. Now we're in trouble. There we go. You go. Thank you. Ain't got time for dogs today. Right. This is an issue. Oh boy, <laughs> we're getting risky with this one, I tell you what. See if we can calm it down a little bit. Oh god, now they're sneaking it up. Here. That's alright, we're doing okay, we're doing alright. Just need to, oh crap, maybe we're not. <laughs> if I can keep them running while I reload. Oh boy, quick. Oh, <laughs> that's the closest we've came to death in a while. Come on, quick, 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 quick. No, <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> oh, man, can you believe it? Our first death. Our first death. Oh, and do you know what? I don't know how we're going to get back in there now because all the blade traps are on. So we need to think fast. What have we got that we can take? Anything at all? Uh, oh boy, right. Sledgehammer, I can hear them breaking my fence. Uh, right, we're going to need some frames. Which is fine. That's just so we can get on the roof. If I just put them back. They're trashing my place, I can hear it. Okay, right, here's the plan. We're going to make a quick run for it. Get back inside. Oh boy, you have made some dents in that. Right, if I get them round, that's fine. Oh, and there's a dog. Of course there's a dog. There's always a dog. Why is there a dog? Right. <laughs> well, we've got our first death of the series. I've, to be honest, part of me figured that this was going to be the one that got me. Um, it's all my fault as well. I was the, uh, the one who got myself ran around in a circle and didn't kind of react quick enough. It's, it is what it is. I don't really mind. It doesn't bother me at all. Right, now we need to quickly get up here, though. And we're going to take one of those. We're going to break one of these. And try and get ourselves back in. And get all of our stuff. Why did I bring this instead of an axe? That would have made much more sense, bringing an axe. Right, where are we? This one. Need to grab my stuff. Get my guns re-equipped. And hope for the best. Got everything, right. Reload time. We're back in play. I think it's going to take them a minute to get back over here, which kind of gives us a minute to kind of sort ourselves out. Oh, there's a doggy. Right. First death of the series. Also, I checked just before we started. We were on 9,006 deaths. This thing has killed... Uh, sorry, 1,906 deaths. This killed about 100 or so, so far. Okay, right. We might... Oh, that blade trap is just about done by the looks of it. In fact, a few of them. That one looks okay. That one's not too bad. That one is broken. Ah, that explains a lot. They got in because we had a broken blade trap. <laughs> and that one's just about dead too. Do you know what? Shouldn't be looting right now. Where are you? There you are. So this thing has two blade traps down. It is 10 minutes past one, so we've got time to go yet. But there is an absolute clear entrance to the base now. And potentially there's going to be two very soon. That blade trap, like you say, it's stopped working. It's gone completely. This one is hanging on by the looks of it. So any that are left... There we go. Come this way, please. Try not to destroy the rest of my blade traps. I would not like to die a second time. <laughs> so those of you who may have guessed I was going to die in this hard base, uh, well done. You win. I don't know what you win. Oh, that one is almost gone. Look, it's smoking now. And it's gone. Crap, we are two down now. So now, 
if we hear blades spinning, it's only the two behind us. So, why don't we try and find ourselves a good spot? They seem to be only heading for the one that's broken at the moment. We haven't reloaded the junk turret, but to be honest, I haven't really had a chance, have I? Let's see if I can do it now. Ooh, there we go. I was going to see if I could load the junk turret while it was a little bit quiet, but... Right, try now. Uh, oh boy. Can't be having the soldiers running in, killing us. Right, can I reload it? Let's, uh, let's put it there. Go on, do your thing, junkie. There you go, you shoot, you shoot a few. Oh boy, uh, there we are. It's difficult when you're not sure what direction they're coming from until they're right on the blades or right behind you. That's when you sort of kick in with your headphones that you know they're there, but having two blades down is potentially a big problem, but do you know what? I'm still happy enough with how this thing turned out. thought I heard someone to my right. Right, okay, those two are broken, but they don't seem to be coming that way at this moment in time, which is great. There you go, do your jobs. Man, I can't believe that they took out two blade traps. Oh crap, where'd you come from? I feel like if I was more aware of um, reloading my guns, which I'm usually pretty good at, and I'm not trying to make excuses here, by the way. We, we absolutely deserve to die because we were dumb. But usually I'm pretty good at sort of reloading my guns. And I instead of cycling through them all, I usually sort of cycle through one, reload the other, and go back, which is what we were doing to start with. And then once a few... Oh, crap, now we've got spitters. Where'd that come from? Is that a spitter bird? God damn it spit of birds are here now uh yeah i just kind of stopped reloading my guns for some reason <laughs> end up getting myself kind of cornered when they hit you and they kind of concuss you or whatever it was that happened they really slow you down and by that point you may as well you may as well just accept that you're gonna die <laughs> but to me as i said that's that's part of the fun you know you've got to learn these things i, I wasn't planning on doing a permadeath series we almost died about four times up to now. So, the fact it took us to day 35 for our first death, I'm pretty proud of that, actually. Here we go. We've got a few coming in now. They kind of go through fits and starts, these hordes. They kind of come at you for a little bit, and then they give you a bit of a breather. And then they come at you again. Kind of gives you a second to regroup, you know? Oh, we've got spitters again. Is it another bird? Something. Oh, that. What are you doing to my blades? <laughs> oh, boy. Where are we? Nurse. Oh, boy. Right. There's definitely another bird. There we are. Take you out. I think she's down. These blades are doing me a good service right now. See if we can help them out. Take a couple out before they get here, it'd be good. We've already lost two blades tonight. Hopefully we don't lose any more. These ones are not looking as bad as the last ones, so I don't know how quick they go down, actually. That's something I'll have to, uh... Oh, actually, now that I've said it, <laughs> that one isn't looking too hot. However, we're doing okay. The bird's gone. Oh, there's a few coming now. Hello. 
And that blade, oh, that we're down to one blade. <laughs> and that one looks like it's hanging on to, oh crap, I did not see you till the last minute. Oh, how do you get through? Okay. <laughs> Getting a little hairy now. We've got one blade. And that blade is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> how many more zombies are we going to get? I'm going to try and keep them away from the blades for as long as I can. Because uh, that blade's going to be gone soon. And then we're basically fighting the horde out in the open. I heard you, I heard you. There you go. Haven't seen any cops tonight. Which is fine. I think cops would have probably tore through this thing pretty quickly. Well, the blades at least, especially if they ended up getting blown up instead of me taking them out. But can you can you hear this blade? It doesn't sound too healthy, does it? But then again, if you look at the time, we are very close now to 4am. So if we have to take the last few out without the blades, then they won't be running for very long. And we're doing pretty good. Ammo-wise, we've mainly just used the uh, 7.62 rounds, which is what I expected, which is why I crafted more. But I think now when it comes down to it, I'm probably going to focus on making sure I have a lot more 7.62 rounds. Because, uh, again, when it gets a bit deeper into the hordes like this, you tend not to use your pistol as often. Maybe I'll keep the pistol rounds and things for raiding buildings and whatnot. It's gone quiet again. Have we finished, do you think? Look at that blade. It sounds so sad. <laughs> ah, there it is. 4 a.m. has arrived. Let's turn off the generator. Oh. And let's reflect on what was quite the crazy night it was our first oh hello you one of the last survivors of the horde it was our first death which is fine we expected it eventually i mentioned i think at the start of uh building this thing that um this is probably my dumbest idea yet <laughs> it certainly lived up to that didn't it but i to be honest and I know a lot of people probably say this in games like this when you die. It, I I could have done better than that and I didn't. It was totally on me. But it's all part of the fun for me. You know, the whole point of this series, we've said it time and time again throughout playing it, is to try and learn what the limits of the game are. Like, what do we need to do better? What, what can we get away with doing? And I'm happy enough with how this worked out, you know. So... It's given us some food for thought when it comes to the next hard night. Look at all this shotgun ammo I still have. I should have probably been using that, shouldn't I? But I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. Right, I'm going to go ahead and clear up all this loot. We'll head back to base and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of figure out what went wrong. All right, so we're back at our little base. I'm going to drop off the excess ammo here that we didn't end up using. We really didn't need to take this much ammo with us, other than the 7.62 rounds. We probably could have done with a few more of that. But then again, we've still got ammo left over, so maybe we would have been fine with what we had. First death upon reflection, like I say, I'm not going to make excuses. It, it happened. I, I died. That's fine. I have, I have no issues with that. I'm, I'm not one of these people who will be sort of hung up on something like that. So honestly, I find, well, you've seen how I reacted when it happened. I laughed. That That's just me. But yeah, I, I feel like there was a few things that we could have done better. We could have been focused a little bit more on our ammunition. We could have been making sure that we had uh, reloaded when we needed to. Again, these are just things that happen. Not going to lose any sleep over it, but that, that was a lot of fun. And to be honest, the first first death's out of the way now. So in theory, for, for, uh, for Horde Knight number 42 
or number six. I was say 42. I don't know why. You know what I mean. Day 42, Horde. Uh, we've got some thinking to do. Are we going to return to one of the previous bases? Do you think the base we've just done with proper reloading skills and things like that could be could be done? I thought we were doing pretty well, to be honest. We only died the once, and that was mainly due to incompetence rather than the base itself. I mean, obviously, three of the four blade traps failed. So if we were to revisit that one, I would have to rebuild the blade traps. I, I'm not a crazy person. I don't want to do that with no defense whatsoever. But it gives us a bit of time to kind of debate over what we would like to do for the next one. Obviously, day 49 isn't that far away. It's only 13 days in game, which doesn't give me that many hours to get building for the maze. Still got to design the whole thing. Lots to do in terms of the maze. So, you know, we've got a bit of time to... Uh, decide what we're going to do for Horde Knight on day 42, but we need to start planning the design of that maze pretty quickly. So I'm going to leave this one here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, it's always fun when the game challenges you to a point where the game wins. I, I love when that happens at times. So yeah, a lot to think about, a lot to prep for, but again, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. It really does help me out. And if you do feel comfortable doing this, as always, share the video with your friends. Jen is open. Me and Jen are going to go have a little chat. See if I can uh, fill her in on what happened last night. And until then, I will see you in the next episode. Take care.